just a few hours ago, both the Liberty Walk Mira and the Liberty Walk R34 GTR was inside the show. And now, in the middle of the street, we're about to shoot these cars just maybe one city over in this residential area that's very well lit. Wow, just, I just can't believe it. It's so cool. The car culture here is unlike anywhere else and you know, the dedication really shows the fact that they appreciate media coverage and that they appreciate us creating this content from the beautiful machines that they actually build. It's um, pretty legendary, it really is. So we're gonna shoot, Lewis and I are gonna split up and we're gonna get as many shots as we can. We have our early morning tomorrow. I think it'll be a lot of fun. The shooting just doesn't stop here. If there's no natural light, then there's plenty of ambient light. You're a goddamn genius. That's the most outstanding answer I've ever heard. Kind of want to talk about the car a little bit, see? So this is like a DR30 race car inspired livery. Skyline RS. Domain Sresre no FRP say no chin spoiler. Cove no Riauni. で、M1を従えて失踪したスカイライン。スーパーシリエットの姿は人々の幕たり焼き付いたことでしょう。人々で着火して炎となって吹き出します。これはマシンが会長の証と言ってもいいでしょう。Oh Triple Solex carburetors. Oh. oh, what is this, a light show? Got a light show going on? Look at that shelf. So? Yeah. Already? Oh, hello. Hi. <laughs> Thanks for showing up. <laughs> this thing is so cool. Alright, so um, we've pretty much invaded a residential intersection. There's some traffic going on, but we have the Liberty Walk Mira right over here to our side and the brand new R34 build that they just released at Tokyo Auto Salon. If you guys don't know about it, Larry will show you. All right, I know what you guys are thinking. Amira on air with the fenders cut, all of that. Don't worry guys, this is just a kit car. It was actually originally a GT40 kit car and then uh, they converted it into Amira. I really, really love the way this looks, and plus the fact these are pretty much matching, like the R34 kind of looks like the Advent livery, but this is just a legit throwback. Well, that, just, that just so happens to be a throwback to the R31 race livery, so the red and black kind of goes along with the Advent livery that's also red and black, so yeah, they're both throwbacks, but they just happen to match. Yeah, so. this is just so cool. Like, this is... This is my dream. This is it right here. All right, we're gonna get to shooting. We're gonna try to get as many shots as we can before we get kicked out. I heard um, the police here are actually quite nice. Uh -huh. So if you're quiet, they should be okay with it. Here. Okay. All right, so we'll see. We'll see, fingers crossed. We will see. Fingers crossed. I don't know how people wear their hats like this. 
You don't have any eyebrows now. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> this lady's like totally into this car. And uh, it's 10 o'clock, so there's barely anyone out on the street. Lewis had the guys push this car all the way back because it's unbelievably loud. So we're unable to drive it around because we don't want to wake the neighbors and they're going to call the police and make us leave. But um, yeah, it's super cool to see this thing here. Liberty Walk actually brought out three cars. They brought out the Carbon R35 GTR and I haven't even looked at it. I, you got to look at it this way, okay? You just got to look at it. It's just too many cool cars to shoot. It's uh, just too much going on. Like, obviously, I was very candid about the R34 being the car of the show for me, um, just because it just speaks to me so much. I mean, the L-Series motor in an early 2000s car is just so cool. Plus the livery, everything. It just looks like it could have existed back then, and that's why I love it. The Mira is amazing too. It's a couple years old, the build, but it's still really cool and it's still groundbreaking. You'll just never see anything else like it. I guess it's one of those things, you know, like, <sighs> just pushing super hard here. We're just parked in this residential neighborhood and there's three shoots going on, maybe four of the same car. So essentially I jumped Dino's shoot. See, look at him right there. I normally do not jump anyone's shoot, but um, it's a timing thing. They actually are taking the cars across the country right now, after we're done, they'll load them up and they'll leave and I pretty much will never see them ever again. This is pretty much the only time we are allowed to shoot this thing. All right, I'm here for a status update from Lewis. Uh, I'm done with R34. What are you thinking? <laughs> uh, so far so good. It's pretty low. It's kind of insane. It's almost too low, if that makes any There's sense. There's no such thing as being too low there. As you guys can see, this scene here. Look, okay, this is a video version of what Lewis is shooting, and it's beautiful. Well, we're gonna finish up here. We're gonna continue pushing super hard. Tomorrow morning, we're going to Spoon, and we're gonna feature some of their cars there. A really good friend of mine, Daijiro Yoshihara, who I've known for over 15 years, he's going to join us and of course he's from Japan so he can do some translating for us but uh, he's driven for Spoon many times so he's really good friends with those guys too. We're going to keep pushing hard, we're going to bring you guys this coverage. Thank you again so much to Yokohama Tire and KW Suspension for bringing us out here to just capture car culture for the masses. That's a wrap. See you guys tomorrow. Cops are here. Cops are walking down. All right. Shoot's over. <laughs> All right.